In this video, we'll teach you how to scrape products from Costco's website. Costco is the fifth largest retailer in the world and is constantly growing in new memberships. Scraping Costco's website does not need to be hard. Sure, you may code your own scraper, but Parsub allows you to do it for free with zero coding knowledge required. Before you begin this tutorial, download Parsub for free. The link is in the description below. So without further ado, let's begin scraping Costco products. Firstly, download Parsub for free and install it. Open the application and click new project. Input the Costco URL you want Want to scrape. We're going to scrape coffee products from Costco's website. Then click enter and you'll see the website loading on the right. Click the first product's name to make it a selection. You will see the product name turn green. Click the next product name which should be yellow. If you did this right, all the products now should show up as green. You can now rename the selection on the left to products. To get the rest of the data for each product, such as the price, you need to relative select it. Click the plus sign next to the product selection and click relative select. Now click on the first product and it should point in arrow. Click the price and this should select all the prices for each product respectively. Rename this selection to price. Now that you got the price, you can repeat the relative selection for other product information. What about the next pages? In order for Parsup to extract data from more than one page, you need to add pagination to reach the other product pages. Here's how to set it up. Click the plus sign and choose the select command on your page. Now scroll to the bottom until you find the next page arrow. Click this button. Rename the selection to pagination and expand the data. Remove both attributes that got added to the select by clicking the icon next to the selection. Now click the plus button next to the pagination selection and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking if this is a next page link. Pick yes and choose how many pages you want to scrape. If you leave it at zero, all pages will be scraped. Many websites block web scrapers from extracting data. On our scraping run, we noticed that the results came back empty, which is usually an indicator of an IP block. To bypass blocks, you need to enable the rotate IP addresses setting, which is a paid parse up feature. To enable rotate IP addresses, click the settings cog at the top left of the screen. Then click settings and tick the rotate IP addresses addresses checkbox. Now you're ready to begin scraping Costco's website. To begin your scraping, click the green get data button on the left. Now we can test, run, or schedule the scrape. Begin your scrape by clicking the green run button. Your data is now being scraped by Parsup. Once finished, you will also get an email notification that your scrape is complete. You will now be able to download your file, save it as CSV, JSON, or with an API. We hope you enjoyed this video on scraping Costco products. Visit our website and subscribe to our channel. If you need any help with Parsup projects, feel free to reach out on our live chat. Happy scraping!